jetzt mal so ganz schnell anfangen. interview enslaved from Norway uh, at first we want to know uh, the style of your music is called Viking metal tell us please tell us uh, what do you understand under by a uh, Viking metal uh, you know uh, the meaning of Viking metal uh, the meaning is uh, metal music with uh, lyrics about the uh, Viking age and the uh, Viking, Viking uh, religion and uh, all the things like that nature and uh, some Nordic nature and uh, Yes, or uh, own uh, interpretation of uh, the uh, religion and so on. Uh, and in this connection, uh, do you don't play uh, English text? Uh, we do have uh, a new track. We just uh, wrote a new track called Viking Metal, and uh, that track contains uh, lyrics in uh, English, Germany, uh, German and uh, French. But all the other lyrics are in uh, Norse. Uh -huh. uh, in our mind, uh, uh, you have changed the style of the last in the last CD in uh, uh, from the last CD to the new CD. Uh, why is that? I don't think we have changed the style. It's, uh, we have improved our style. Uh, I would like to put it that way. It's uh, you know, there's a natural progress. In this. Mm. Okay, now Ingrid. Your band name is called Enslaved. Maybe you know that there are two German death metal bands called Enslaved. Yes, uh, we just uh, yeah. talked to them last night. We talked to the uh, German Enslaved last night. Uh, uh, or we talked to the guitarist. Yes, one from Cottbus and one near Stuttgart. Uh, so I wanted to know what was your idea to choose the name Enslaved? Well, actually, we... Uh, we uh, got uh, the name from uh, from uh, Demonas, from Immortal. We started the band and we don't have a name and uh, he said Enslaved is a cool name. And that's it. In 1992 you made the split EP with Emperor on Candlelight. What was your reason for that and looking back do you think that was a good idea? You know, the split city, a uh, good idea. Yes, that worked uh, perfectly well. The reason I ask is because it took so long until your CD now has uh, been published. Why has that taken so long? Uh, you know, uh, taking so long time. Uh, it has taken uh, uh, one year from uh, the uh, Viking Legavelli CD. And uh, the year before that we released uh, the split CD, so I don't think it's uh, so long time. You chose to take this tour with Marduk. Why not, for example, with Immortal, who seem to be quite good friends of yours? Yeah, uh, but uh, Immortal was supposed to uh, to go on this tour with uh, us and Marduk, but uh, they uh, haven't got a drummer at this time. They kicked out their uh, drummer off with the Sons of Northern Darkness tour, and uh, they haven't got hold of a new drummer. Okay, uh, what are your plans for the future? Uh, after this tour, we are going to uh, rehearse and make, uh, make uh, a lot of new songs to uh, our next album. We'll not uh, play so much live, uh, perhaps in November, December, but uh, I don't think it, it will be uh, any more live shows uh, in, uh, in the spring and in the summer. Which kind of music do you prefer in private? In private, I listen to uh, almost all kinds of music. Uh, I listen to uh, metal music, of course, all kinds of metal music, black metal, heavy metal. And uh, I listen to uh, synth music and uh, classical music, and also a bit of techno music, just uh, mostly metal music. And you? Mostly classical for the time being. Also some, uh, what you can say is popular music, some goth rock. Uh, and of course some metal, extreme metal and also old heavy metal. And you? Uh, metal and classic and something. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you very much.